the devil you've been tasked to kill. Me! Never been better. Oh, fuck me. It's you, from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tyr did. Me? None. They're the ones chasing me down. But believe me, these so-called paladins are anything but. They... A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Blood War. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak, and you are... Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? You brought her here. We won't survive another assault. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. What sort of devilment is this? Paladins, to arms! This one is with the Fiend!
through. What now? won't work. Forever, pal. Got it. In Again. Put him up. <sighs> Heading out. Need to act fast. Take you. I do. Oh. I won't give in. These boots have seen everything. I won't go back. 
I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger! <laughs> Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Wild, right? And believe it or not, I'm one of Zariel's least mutilated pets. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Sounds like a good lead. Hopefully our guy will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of good. <laughs> 